What is up everyone? Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm not alone. I'm here with my friend Pimple. Kinda annoying. I want to record this video and this thing started to show up on my face. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to mix vocals like Various. me or like Juice Roll, Sofago, Ye, whoever, like all those vocals. You can if you want to. Please click the like button and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any hooks beats or whatever on my channel you know shout out to makapaka for editing this video the first thing i'm gonna do is quickly give you guys a preview of what we'll be mixing today so uh this is with all the effects on so yeah this is how the end production sound So yeah, this is a song. If you don't like it, if you don't like the mix, get out of here, bro. Yeah, we're just gonna get into the Turn everything off, it's like soul. And then we have a dry vocal, which is auto-tune. So let me quickly do this. So that's how like the dry vocal sound. What I have on the auto tune is not that special. I have five retune speed. I was supposed to have less. Don't know why it's saying five. I put this as alto tenor. I think, bro, I said it wrong the whole time. I said alto tenor, but it's alto tenor probably. And then you have to put the right key, of course. Mana or humanize. I never turn that on. I don't know. You can turn that on if it sounds good. Just also just experiment with. I don't know, trying things. First thing I added was an EQ. Beautiful EQ. What I did here is remove some uh, low frequencies and then I removed these. I just did a frequency sweep. If you don't know what that is, it's basically just going up and then removing like bad frequencies for your thing. Then I added another EQ which is this one. You can just copy these settings or you can download the FLP in the description. You don't have to, but if you're lazy like me. Yeah, this is the second EQ. Now it sounds like this. Sounds a little bit better. After that, one important thing is the compressor. This is the compressor. Okay, I'm not gonna name everything, but if you wanna look here, take a screenshot, do it. Okay, sick. So yeah, and I put the gain up so like my vocals are really soft but i just boost them with the compressor don't know if that's the right thing to do but it sounds good so now the vocals sound like this I keep me fucking with face. a lot better like it's louder basically that after that i put on this plugin it's a waves plugin so if you don't have waves either get waves or just don't give a fuck about this plugin but you can copy the settings i don't know exactly what it is it's a multi-band compressor but no idea what it does but it just makes it sound like professional and a little bit cleaner in my opinion if you have the right settings so now it sounds like this I keep me fucking with face. it sounds a little bit better Uh, what I added after the multiband compressor was another EQ. It looks really weird. I know you can just copy it if you want to and just, yeah. Um, now it sounds like this. I keep me fucking with face. Can you just get on my way? So these are the differences. After that, I put a sound goodizer. It's 2022 and I still use sound goodizer. Shout out sound goodizer. I put the C preset and I put it one quarter. Not that difficult. Now it sounds like this. I keep me fucking with face. It just gives a little bit more crispiness, you know. What I added after the sound goodizer was delay. I used to use delay two, but now I use delay three. In my opinion, it's better. I put the time of the delay like all the way up. Then I think I did this with the cutoff and I did the level a little bit different, but I didn't change anything else. No, I didn't change anything else. So now it sounds like this. I keep me fucking with fat. With the delay, it just fills up the track as well. 
after that, bro. Yeah, bro. After that, we got Valhalla Reverb. I used to put a lot of reverb, but now I put a little bit less. So on the mix on the main vocals, I use 6.4, then a pre-delay of 20 and a decay of 4. I used the chorus space preset on Valhalla Reverb. Now it sounds like this. I keep me fucking with fans. And that's almost the vocal done. So uh, then I put another EQ. This one is a little bit different. This is a fab filter. Yeah, I just removed some bad frequencies. Again, it's not that hard. You just go like this. I keep me fucking with I keep me fucking with and then you just, if you want to do this, you scroll. Scroll down or up. And then, for example, I don't like this sound. You can just remove it like that. Now it sounds like this. I keep me fucking with fans. Now it's Now it's almost done. Usually I stop here, but I have something new. So what I do is I track this this mixing, mixing track. I put it to 11. So I just remove it from here and click here. That's it. And I put a de-esser on here. So I have the R de-esser, it's the waves as well. You don't have to get waves. You can also like find different plugins, but I just use these. Uh, the frequency is around 1100. The type is this bridge. I'll call it bridge. And you can just look this up. But what this does is just removes the S noises. The S's are really loud. So we don't want the in our ears. So we just put a DS on and then I put two different EQs that removes like a lot of bad frequencies. Like so, you don't have to do this, but it sounded better after I did it. So now the vocals sound like this. I keep me fucking with fans. Perfect. Perfect. I keep me fucking with fans. So now we're gonna turn all these effects on again. Now we're gonna move on to the ad-libs. Ad-libs are also very important. So these are the ad-libs. So as you can see, the ad-libs are a lot more spacious. I do that on purpose so the main vocals fit in more. So what I did here was exactly the same as the main vocals, but I just put more, more reverb. And I also put a stereo shaper. These are the settings for the stereo shaper. Yeah, not that important, uh, or it is important. Uh, and then I have the six. That's also an ad lib chain, and I put a panomatic on the on these vocals. So it's basically the same preset as the main vocals, but it's just two two things different, I guess. After that, what do we have? We have this riser. I'll show you exactly how to make this riser. So it's a pretty cool effect. So what you do is you grab a vocal, you make a unique S sample and you reverse it. Then what you do is you go to, for example, seven. There's nothing on seven. So we just file, save, mix the preset, put it on seven. After you've done that, you're gonna go to reverb and put it like how much you want it. I put it really the height. And then what you do is you click this button under the clock, click this and just You basically just record it backwards and then you reverse it like that. And now you have like a I keep me fucking with crazy. So that's how you make the riser. And then I just added some, you know, some, some of my own risers. A lot of people also ask me, how do you master your tracks, bro? Cause it sounds cool. I put a limiter with literally nothing on it. Normally this is like, like this, but I just put everything down. And then I have ozone. It's not a free plugin, you do have to buy Ozone, oh, but it's pretty good. I just do the master assistant and then I turn that on. I'll turn it off now because it uses a lot of CPU. This is basically how I mix this track. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my name is Valleys at Valleys. I'll put like a thingy up there. Uh, so I want to thank everyone for watching. And if you want to stream this song, there's also a link in the description for the song. Shout out to Makapaka for editing this video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.